Hi friends, this is Corky, the Plum Creek Booksmith, and I'm back again with another journal share. Plus, I want to show my latest digital um, file. Um, I, I just admire everybody's um, paint swatches that they do, and I've done some with watercolor as well. And the other day I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice to have a bunch of them all ready and ready to go at any time? I wouldn't have to get my... Um, watercolors out and make a whole bunch at a time I could just print them as I want them so I went ahead and I made a digital a new digital for watercolor swatches and this is the first page and I got the camera kind of close don't I and then here's this one's kind of a horizontal one and this one is more up and down I used the colors that I like to use, the blues, the purples, the pinks, some of the oranges, kind of a, a muted orange, some blues and greens. And so those are the ones that I, that I usually use. And then these are just larger splotches of the ones before. Then I did some round ones. And then I also did some that look like you've sat your coffee cup down with some coffee spilling off, off the side. So that's kind of fun too. So you could um, coffee stain these pages to make them look really vintage and old. You can also print the files on old ledger paper like I've done here. Like here's the coffee stains on the ledger pages. And then here's the... Um, up and down one on a ledger page. You can also use encyclopedia paper. And so that's the larger splotches on the encyclopedia page. Here's the round splotches on encyclopedia page. And then here's the ones that kind of go um, sideways. And so then you would just um, tear them out like like here, you can just tear these down and as, as long as you wanted them or as short as you want and then you put them on your, oh say for instance your journal tag, your journal card, uh, make a cluster on the side of a page however you want. So here's some more of them that I've already torn out. I just love them. I just love them a lot. So I hope you will too. Give them a look. They're on my Etsy store. Um, and now we'll get into the other reason I'm here. I made an, a cute little prayer journal again. I made it out of this a cute little uh, Bible that I that I bought at a an antique store some time ago, and I I uh, made a digital out of the uh, cover. And I've made two other two other. Um, prayer journals out of this one and I call it I call this one um, Jesus my shepherd and I have this one tied with a little bit of muslin fabric and that's the front cover and I've got it connected with the, uh, the spine fabric which is a um, canvas and then I covered this the uh, signature the signatures were sewn into the canvas fabric and then I covered the all of that with this um, really lightweight ticking fabric and then the back is a beautiful uh, digital that I have and I it wasn't mine but I, I don't remember right off whose digital this is um, so the, it, we'll get into it the inside of these brads were covered with a twill tape okay this is a extra button envelope here and I've got two prayer cards inside the two pockets and they have um, a prayer on one side and a scripture on the other side. I'll try to get through this really quick. There's my little butterfly poem that I like and my thank you card. There's um, here's one of those um, paint swatches on um, a ledger paper and then um, I have ledger pages, ledger book pages in. There's hymnal pages there's flower book pages. I have some prayer cards that I either I have of my own or I have some of some of my other um, digitals that I have um, purchased on Etsy. 
Um, there's the flower book page. There's an elementary school. Um, I think it was a music book, maybe. I'm not really sure. But I, I tied a little red baker's twine there. I thought the red looked really good with Jesus robe. And there's a pocket here that holds some uh, ledger paper. And there's some grid paper. Um, this is a journal card. Um, has a picture of Jesus with a little child. And um, not sure there's I'm not sure what language this is. It might be Swedish. More ledger paper. There's a, a German, I think it's a devotion book. or might even be a prayer book. I'm not sure, but it's not a Bible. Um, more page from, um, a, I think it's a flower book of some sort, or a nature book maybe. Um, there's an angel, and she's a, a belly band, and she holds a little card there. Lots of places to journal. This comes out. It's a journal card. You can journal on the back. And it just slides in underneath these little discs. It's just some um, a picture of some bird eggs. And it's just stapled here. Another one of the paint swatches. This is on a ledger book from 1928. This flips up, and there's a, a rose here. There's that classic picture of Jesus, and it's on with a brad. Um, here's some journaling cards, and they, they're supposed to go in this little pocket, but this is the second time I've tried to... Um, <laughs> video so I forgot to put them back but they do go back in there and there's a, a scripture here a bible passage one of my favorites and another one here and this is a belly band that holds some tickets and then this that is a double belly band so it holds more back behind here some more prayer cards and domino card another one of my verses There's a little top tuck that has a rose here and another one of my paint swatches. This flips up and there's a little picture of a bird in its nest. And here's a little pocket with another rose image. Another little pocket with a Bible verse. Another Bible verse. And there's another paint swatch. I thought those pinks looked about right. And there's a little darker pink. A little top tuck there with a rose image. And this is my little poem I like to include. And then here's a little image of Mary that goes in the side here. Here's another domino card, and there's a, another um, extra button envelope with some little um, thing, extra things put in the pocket there. Ledger paper. And that is it. That's the end of this little book. I hope you liked her. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And... Um, Hit the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos and leave me a comment. I'd love to read your comments. I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are. I'll see you next time. Bye now.